What's up, everybody? This is Peacekeeper Style, and I am a Twitch affiliate. And I'd like to show you how you can make your own emotes on GIMP for free. And they're pretty bangers. If you take a look at this one, this one's pretty awesome. I've ma also made a uh, like Pepe adaptation of myself, and I made a Rage one. So those will be in separate videos. This one's probably the easiest one to do and easiest to follow along with. And it'll probably take you half an hour for first try, but get it down in like 10 minutes. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is take a good picture of yourself. You're going to need good lighting. Um, probably, maybe if you don't have any good lighting, just like um, the sun uh, behind a good backdrop. And then that'll make things pretty good. I have a ring light that I used and basically this this background here. So it works, works fairly well. Another key thing, if you're using like an iPhone or an Android, you can get the aspect ratio to a square. That'll make your job a lot easier. But today's video, I'm going to show you how to make it into a square because it won't Twitch won't accept the emote if it's not a square. So once you've downloaded GIMP, I'll have a link to the description in the description. You're going to go to File, Open, go to where what image you want to use. So we're going to go to um, streaming emotes emote for video. I'm gonna open this up. When I'm gonna want it rotated. All right, so we've got this. Now, what you want to do, since it's not square, we need to make this square. You're gonna go to the crop tool. Make sure it says one to one, and then you're gonna click back on this. Make sure the tool is activated, and pick a good spot that you'd like so we're gonna go here that's good enough I'm gonna take this just gonna press enter boom now it's square now what we're gonna want to do is this tool right here it says paths tool I'm gonna click on this and we're just gonna zoom in and it depends where you want to start but I'm just gonna do uh, basically this entire thing I'm gonna cut it off short just like right here so we'll go we'll go from about here you can so you can use the um, you can use the control key and the scroll wheel to zoom in and you can just hold the, um, the scroll wheel to move around like this so control and then mouse wheel move in and out to zoom in and out and hold down to move around and then what you can do here, select which spot you want to start with, and you just start clicking away. If you ever want, you, you mess up a little bit, this is why the pass tool is so nice, you can just either right click, go edit, and then do undo or if you have multiple it's easier to do undo anchor and you can do like as many as you need to a more circular outlining or circular object you're going to want to do multiple uh, paths Just do this. Spot's good for you. Oops. Then I get it. Do anchor. Keep on going through. I think I'm good here. So I'm just gonna cut it. Cut it straight across. And then yeah, let's go straight across. Basically, go up. For your last one, you gotta press Control and connect to our starting point, and then we're gonna press Enter. Um, new layer. Trans make sure it's on. It says transparency. Fill with transparency. Press OK. Click on the select tool. Control C. Go to this layer. Control V. So now we've got this in here.
Now we're going to want to scale this down and fit it into a smaller section. So, um, and then this is a floating layer, so you're going to want to anchor it to this layer by right clicking and pressing anchor. Now we're going to go to the scaling tool to see this is at. 1506 by 1774. So you're going to fit it into a 112 by 112. That's the largest we can fit for Twitch. So we're going to do 512. 12 by 512. Advanced options. Fill with transparency right here. Okay. Then we're going to do a control V. Then we're gonna do go to your scale tool, click on this, and you can just drag it down until you can get it to fill in here. It looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to anchor the layer and we are going to if you want. You can save this as an XCF file. So we'll do that right now. We'll do video email. Now what this will do, that's the only file type that can come back into GIMP and you can edit. If you just change it as a PNG and try to come back in, you won't be able to edit it um, the same way with the layers and all that. You won't, or go back or change anything. Because um, that's how I make my... Oops, that's how I make my panels. I have like a template that I go back into and just change the wording. Works out good. I'll, sh I'll do another video on that. Um, so yeah, we have this and we're going to export export as a PNG. So video email PNG. And you export it. And then what you do is you go to your Twitch account. Click here. And then you're gonna go video emote. And it'll resize it for you. And you wanna make you wanna check it how it'll look in light mode and dark mode and all that. So I'm gonna put in to upload that. Done. Now if you're having trouble with the file size might be too large or you're getting an error, you can open up a Word doc or Google Docs. So I'll open up a Word doc. Just a blank document. We can insert that picture and then what we do is just type in the search bar compress pictures and just do okay and then once that's finished is to save picture as you'll save it it's so whatever you want and try it again um, if you're having any issues hello everybody this is a um, post uh, video editing peacekeeper or whatever uh, my audio got kind of messed up here so if you're having any issues or anything please feel free to reach out either in the comments my twitter twitch or discord um, there will be links in the description and i'm also going to be doing videos on how to make uh, other emotes so i have other emotes here like my rage emote and then i have another um pepe adaptation emote that i made as well um so yeah if you find this helpful please let me know if there's anything i need to work on let me know i'd really appreciate it and i hope you got something out of this video i hope it was helpful and yeah that's that's basically it guys so don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my other social media platforms and peace <laughs>